WBIC Instant Sports. Hi, I'm Brody Staub. This weekend saw the second outings of the men's and women's lacrosse teams, and both have looked strong out of the gate. The men have taken on Lycoming and Rensselaer Polytech and dominated both. Yesterday, the Bombers beat RPI by a score of 14-9 in their first home game of the season. They have yet to play a game in the conference, but have moved on to be ranked fourth. The women, on the other hand, have also come out strong. The Bombers have uh, two out-of-conference wins uh, against Skidmore and St. Lawrence. Yesterday, the women beat the Saints by a score of 16-6 and are currently ranked at 19. In the NFL this weekend, the scouting combine was the main talking point as top NCAA prospects went to display their skills. Some highlights included Washington University's John Ross breaking the NFL combine's 40-yard dash record that belonged to Chris Johnson at 4.24 seconds. Ross broke CJ2K's record by 0.2 seconds and set it at 4.22. One of the hottest topics coming out of the draft is usually top quarterback prospects as it is almost certain that there is a team in the NFL that needs a new quarterback. This year, reports indicated that most of the QB buzz was on Dallas Cowboys former starter Tony Romo. As of now, the Cowboys have the budget to pay Tony Romo for next season, but the talk around the league suggests that he is done in Dallas and will likely spend the 2017-2018 to season in either Chicago or Denver. Lastly, the MLB approved the use of on-field biometric uh, monitoring equipment. The MLB is the first pro sports league to approve of something of this kind, and players will have the choice to wear the devices or not. It is being developed by WHOOP, or WHOOP. It is meant to be worn at all times, day and night, and reportedly measures sleep, recovery, and strain on the players' bodies. This has now started a dialogue on player privacy, such as if a player agrees to wear the device, but there is activity that the player does not want the team to see, does he then have the right to redact that data? The devices are a bit costly, and they will be approximately approximately $1,200 per athlete. I'm Brody Stout. More sports are coming in the next hour here on VIC.